ChatGPT just released version 3.5, which makes a huge quantum leap in generative artificial intelligence capabilities. This, of course, begs the question, will you be turning to ChatGPT for retirement planning advice anytime soon? Today, I put ChatGPT to the test. First of all, what is ChatGPT? According to ZDNet.com, ChatGPT is a natural language processing tool driven by AI technology that allows you to have human-like conversations and much more with a chatbot. The language model can answer questions, assist you with tasks such as composing emails, essays, and code. This technology is so revolutionary that apparently Google leadership is beginning to panic. According to the New York Post, Google's management has issued a code red amid the launch of ChatGPT as it sparked concerns over the future of Google's search engine. Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google and its parent company Alphabet, has participated in several meetings around Google's AI strategy and directed numerous groups in the company to refocus their efforts on addressing the threat that ChatGPT poses to its search engine business. In particular, teams in Google's research, trust and safety division, among other departments, have been directed to switch gears to assist in the development and launch of AI prototypes and products. So sounds like ChatGPT has put everyone in scramble mode over at Google headquarters. ChatGPT first got my attention when my wife sent me an article a few weeks back about a high school English teacher who asked ChatGPT a question from an exam he gives in his Eastern philosophy course, something for which he never imagined a student could find outside assistance to answer. Here's the question the English teacher posed to ChatGPT with a slight twist. Explain the Madhyamaka Buddhist idea that all phenomena lack inherent existence using a funny, specific example. Here's the answer that ChatGPT spat out in a matter of seconds. The Madhyamaka Buddhist idea that all phenomena lack inherent existence can be illustrated with a funny example. Let's say you have a pet hamster. You might think that your hamster has its own inherent existence, but in reality, your hamster is made up of many different elements such as its fur, its bones, its muscles, and its brain. None of these elements exist independently or inherently on their own, so your hamster itself does not have any inherent existence either. The same goes for all phenomena. Everything is made up of various components that don't have inherent existence. So nothing has any inherent existence either. So pretty impressive, right? This isn't just Siri telling you what the weather forecast is or what time the Packers game is going to start tonight. This is the type of stuff that could easily get passed off as human. It's a massive quantum leap in AI generative capability. So all of this got me thinking, could ChatGPT eventually take the place of a financial advisor? In an effort to answer this question, I decided to put ChatGPT to the test. I began by asking it a series of questions designed to test its basic retirement planning capabilities. First of all, could it work as a basic financial planning calculator? Question, I'm 49 years old, have no money, and want to retire with a million dollars at age 65. I think I can grow my money at 8% per year. How much would I need to save per month? Answer. To retire with a million dollars at age 65, you will need to save a certain amount of money each month, which depends on a few factors, including your current age, the amount of time you have until retirement, and the rate at which you expect your money to grow. Using the information you provided, I can calculate how much you would need to save each month to reach your goal. Here's the formula I'll use, and then it tells you the formula. It concludes by saying, solving this equation gives a result of $1,045.14, which means you would need to save $1,045.14 per month to retire with a million dollars at age 65. There's only one problem here. Their answer is wrong and dramatically so. Take a look at the future value calculation I did online and you'll find that the answer is more like $32,960 per year or $2,748 per month. Okay, so ChatGPT failed to pass its first basic financial planning test. Next, I decided to ask it a more subjective spec speculative question to see what it might come up with. Question, will the national debt cause US federal tax rates to go up within the next 10 years? Answer, it is difficult to predict with certainty what will happen to federal tax rates in the United States in the next 10 years. The national debt is one of many factors that can influence tax policy, but it is not the only factor. Other factors that can affect tax rates include economic conditions, political considerations, and budget priorities. 
It is possible that the national debt could lead to higher tax rates in the future, as the government may need to raise additional revenue to pay for its obligations. However, it is also possible that other factors could lead to lower tax rates, such as a desire to stimulate economic growth or to make the tax system more competitive. Ultimately, the direction of federal tax rates in the United States will depend on the decisions made by policymakers and it is not possible to predict with certainty what those decisions will be. It is always a good idea to stay informed about tax policy and to consider seeking the advice of a financial advisor or tax professional to help you plan for the future. So this seems like a very safe answer on the part of ChatGPT. It's basically saying that tax rates could go either up or down and it's really impossible to predict. As you've seen on all my other videos, the idea that tax rates could go down in the future runs counter to everything you hear from the most well-versed economists on the subject. So while I would say that this answer is diplomatic, it's not very useful if one is trying to determine whether to invest in, say, an IRA or a Roth IRA. Next, I wanted to see how it described and defined a basic retirement planning tool. Question, what is a life insurance retirement plan? Answer, a life insurance retirement plan, also known as a cash value life insurance policy, is a type of permanent life insurance that combines a death benefit with a savings component. The savings component, known as cash value, is funded by premiums, paid into the policy and can be used to supplement retirement income. Life insurance retirement plans typically have a number of features that can make them attractive for retirement planning. For example, cash value growth may be tax deferred, meaning that it is not taxed until it is withdrawn. Additionally, policyholders may be able to take loans against the cash value of their policy, which can provide a source of tax-free income during retirement. However, it is important to carefully consider the costs and potential drawbacks of a life insurance retirement plan before choosing one as a retirement planning tool. Life insurance policies can be complex financial instruments and the specific terms and conditions can vary significantly between different policies. It is always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor or insurance professional to understand the details of a particular policy and to ensure that it is a good fit for your financial situation and retirement planning needs. Okay, so this explanation of a life insurance retirement plan is much more specific and balanced than what you might see on some traditional Google results, particularly those who feature the opinions of financial gurus such as Dave Ramsey or Susie Orman. Okay, next, I tried to drill down on the specific living benefits of a life insurance retirement plan. Question. Can I use a life insurance retirement plan to pay for long-term care? Answer, yes, it is possible to use a life insurance retirement plan, also known as a cash value life insurance policy to pay for long-term care expenses. Many life insurance policies include a long-term care rider, which allows policyholders to use a portion of the policy's death benefit to pay for qualified long-term care expenses. Using a life insurance policy to pay for long-term care can be an attractive option for some people as it can provide a source of tax-free funds to help cover the high costs of long-term care. However, it is important to carefully consider the costs and potential drawbacks of this approach before choosing it as a way to pay for long-term care. So not only is this response balanced, it's largely correct. Furthermore, it provides all the requisite warnings and disclosures to make sure that consumers don't make any hasty decisions before they enter into what amounts to a long-term contract. So I ended up playing around with ChatGPT for over an hour and here are my overall conclusions. First, I found the financial calculator functions largely wanting. It wasn't able to discern exactly what I was looking for when I asked a retirement planning question using conversational language. In one instance, I asked the computer how much of my $1 million IRA I would need to convert per year to complete my conversion by the end of the fifth year, and it told me the answer was zero. So clearly it wasn't grasping the nuance of my question. If you fired up your trusty HP Financial Calculator, you could come up with the correct answer in a matter of seconds. So there's no doubt in my mind on this one, ChatGPT will not be replacing your financial calculator anytime soon. Second, after every response, ChatGPT urges you to consult a financial advisor and or a tax professional. So clearly this application is not auditioning to replace either 
your financial calculator or your financial advisor. I think this is a responsible way for an artificial intelligence application to approach financial planning advice. Third, overall I thought the answers were much more balanced and devoid of emotion and opinion than what you might get from the likes of Dave Ramsey or Susie Orman. Explanations were both even-handed and matter-of-fact, so a huge win for ChatGPT in that category. In summary, I don't think that ChatGPT is going to be replacing a real live in the flesh financial advisor who can appreciate a client's personal situation in a detailed, nuanced way anytime soon. ChatGPT tended to speak in safe platitudes that didn't ultimately provide any real specific guidance about my financial future. It instead told me I needed to evaluate all the data, proceed cautiously, and ultimately talk to a real life financial advisor. By the way, if you would like to talk to a real life financial advisor about your retirement planning needs, head on over to davemcknight.com and click on the Work with David button. I'm happy to lend a hand. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them into the comment section below. I'll respond to every single one of them personally. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell so you never miss a video. This is David McKnight. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.